The 2023 Ford Bronco and Jeep Wrangler have been making waves across the automotive community, and it was just a matter of time before these would hit our radar. A lot of off-road enthusiast subscribers were demanding a comparison video, so here it is. The 2023 Ford Bronco and the 2023 Jeep Wrangler are like the ultimate showdown of a classic Hollywood story. In one corner, you have the veteran heavyweight champion, the Jeep Wrangler, who has been reigning supreme in the off-road segment for what feels like forever. In the other corner, the young, ambitious newcomer, the Ford Bronco, is ready to steal the spotlight and knock the champion off its throne. The Wrangler is the vehicle that validates every other Jeep product as a true off-roader. And the executives at Jeep know that the Wrangler is, in sports terms, the MVP of their team. They want to do everything they can to maintain the Jeep Wrangler's position as the top dog in the off-road world. It's the champion, folks. It's going to be an epic battle, and I can't wait to see who comes out on top. Will the veteran champion maintain its dominance, or will the young challenger steal the crown? The moment of truth is upon us. Let's dive in and discover the winner. Everybody loves the adrenaline pumping through the body and giving them the hot flush, but the warmth of currency notes in your wallet is more soothing. That is why I am starting the comparison with the available trims and their prices. The 2023 Jeep Wrangler starts at $31,195 and goes up to a whopping $82,495 excluding the destination fee. There are 12, literally a dozen, total trim levels ranging from the two-door Sport 4x4 to the top-of-the-line four-door Rubicon 392. Looks as if Jeep asked every employee what they would like and made a separate trim out of it. Insane! But the good news is that all variants offer four-wheel drive, so you can easily traverse those rocky paths on your off-road adventure. There are few differences in design and more differences in the luxurious approach as the base trim comes with a better fuel economy but a less powerful engine and manual transmission. In contrast, the Rubicon has lower fuel economy but a more powerful engine and automatic transmission. On the other hand, it seems like Ford ran out of employees as they only have introduced 10 different trim levels. Don't worry, I'm being sarcastic. The base variant is literally named Base and starts at $32,295 and the lineup maxes out with Raptor placed at a price tag of $73,870. Raptor provides an insight into the future with 360 degree camera views, sway control, cruise control, and the latest infotainment system. Overall, Jeep Wrangler is a better option in case of offering more trims and having a cheaper base variant. The adrenaline rush due to the insane acceleration makes up for the warmth of currency notes that you spend on these beasts. When it comes to acceleration, you can think of the Ford Bronco as a turtle on a skateboard. Don't actually start thinking that. It boasts a 3-liter V6 engine capable of producing up to 418 horsepower and 440 foot-pounds of torque. This allows it to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just over 5 seconds, leaving the Jeep Wrangler in the dust. The top speed sits at 114 miles per hour, and it is perfectly balanced for both highway and off-road ventures. On the other hand, the Wrangler is more like a cheetah on steroids. It has a 6.4 liter Hemi V8 engine that hands over 470 horsepower into your hands as soon as you give that first rev to your vehicle. 470 foot-pounds of torque ensures that this beast responds to even an inch of your foot pushing down on that accelerator. It takes only 4.5 seconds to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour. So whether you're looking for a vehicle for drag racing or as your companion through your off-road adventures, Wrangler should make it to the top of your list. In terms of mileage, the Ford Bronco is like a camel in the desert. It just keeps going and going. It has a fuel economy of 15 miles per gallon in the city and 16 miles per gallon on the highway, and that's for the 3-liter Raptor trim. With the 2.3-liter EcoBoost Raptor, this average increases to 20 miles per gallon for in-city driving and 21 miles per gallon for highway driving. Opting for the base trim can even give more efficient mileage. The Jeep Wrangler Rubicon is more like a hummingbird. It sips fuel, but doesn't go as far. It has a fuel economy of 13 miles per gallon in the city 
and 17 miles per gallon on the highway. In comparison, the base two-door trim offers 17 miles per gallon in the city and an amazing 25 miles per gallon on the highway. The Ford Bronco also has a lesser fuel tank capacity of 20.8 gallons compared to the Jeep Wrangler's 21.5 gallons. Therefore, if you're looking for an in-city drive with better mileage, then it's a no-brainer to go after the base variants of both competitors. Jeep Wrangler provides better value for money for the base trim. However, Ford Bronco takes the lead when it comes to maintaining better mileage while still offering top-notch specs. Jeep Wrangler has shown a futuristic approach by offering a Rubicon 4xE trim with an electric motor, giving it an added range of 25 miles on a full charge. On the contrary, Ford Bronco has gone with the tried and tested ICE technology. But let's be honest, if you're buying a Bronco or a Wrangler, you're probably not too worried about charging stations. When it comes to exterior design, the Ford Bronco and the Jeep Wrangler are like apples and oranges. The Ford Bronco is like a chiseled G.I. Joe action figure, and it's got a boxy design with sharp lines and a bold grille. The Bronco's exterior is designed to look tough, rugged, and ready for any adventure. You can experiment with the overall look of your vehicle by opting for customized vehicles and different color options as well. On the other hand, the Jeep Wrangler is like a vintage toy, and it's got a classic, timeless look with round headlights and a 7-slot grille. The Wrangler's exterior is designed to look iconic and instantly recognizable with its classic design elements and characteristic headlights. Jeep is offering multiple color variants for all the dozen trim levels so every one of you can get the vehicle of your dreams. But let's be real, both of these vehicles look like they're ready to conquer the world. The Ford Bronco and the Jeep Wrangler are both head turners and get attention wherever they go. Behold, they are like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Don't get the wrong idea by their innocent appearance, as they are built for the toughest of terrains. Moving toward the interior, the Ford Bronco is like a camping tent. It's got a more rugged and utilitarian interior with marine-grade vinyl seats and a sleek dashboard design. However, you can also opt for the leather trim and 10 or 8-way power drive seat for added comfort. The Jeep Wrangler, on the other hand, is more like a luxury hotel room. It's got a more refined and luxurious interior with high quality materials and leather seats are standard for the Rubicon trim. Nevertheless, both vehicles have the same goal in mind, to make you feel like a boss. The Jeep Wrangler offers a more modern and refined off-road experience with its advanced technology, more luxurious interior, and more advanced suspension. On the other hand, the Ford Bronco is a more traditional and rugged off-road vehicle with its classic design and solid axles. It's like comparing a fancy spa day to a rugged hike in the mountains. And both are great experiences, but for different reasons. Talking about comfort level, the Wrangler is like a first-class seat on a plane. It offers a more comfortable and refined ride with its advanced suspension system and more luxurious interior. The Bronco is more like a bouncy castle, but with dual-zone automatic climate control. It has a rougher ride since obviously most people use it for off-roading, but it's still a lot of fun. Moving on to infotainment, the Ford Bronco comes with Ford's latest SYNC 4 infotainment system, which is like having a personal assistant in your car. It features a large touchscreen, voice control, and a variety of connectivity options. The Jeep Wrangler also comes with the latest technology, including Apple CarPlay and Google Android Auto support. The 8.4-inch touchscreen is standard on the Rubicon model as compared to the 7-inch touchscreen on the base variant. In conclusion, both the Jeep Wrangler and the Ford Bronco are excellent off-road vehicles, each with its own unique set of features and capabilities. It's like choosing between a perfectly cooked steak or a juicy burger. Both are delicious, but for different reasons. Both vehicles are great choices for those who want a modern and refined off-road experience with advanced technology, a luxurious interior, and comfortable suspension. The final choice comes down to the budget and personal preference for exterior designs. I leave this domain for you to decide.